Welcome back to Marketplace. So yesterday I spoke with Illinois Tech student and engineer on a cutting edge engineering education. Take a look to learn more. If you want to know where the next automotive engineers and industry leaders are coming from, it could be from our own area. The Echo Car EV Challenge Fall Workshop is currently taking place in Boston as year three of the competition ramps up. Faith Bush from Illinois Tech and Mr. Bill Cawthorn, Assistant Chief Engineer of BEV Propolution System at General Motors are joining us from Boston. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. So, Mr. Cawthorn, can you give us a little background on the competition and what its goals are? Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, the EcoCar EV Challenge is a comp student competition where 13 university teams are competing uh, to upgrade and re-engineer a 2023 Cadillac Lyric that was donated by General Motors. This is a competition sponsored by General Motors, uh, the Department of Energy, and MathWorks. The idea of the competition is that these students are going to take, the, take these lyrics, re-engineer their propulsion system, and also add connected and automated features uh, to the vehicle. So that would be things like eco-adaptive cruise, lane centering, automatic parking, and intersection navigation. And the idea is to integrate all of these features to improve the customer experience of the vehicle, as well as the efficiency and range of the electric vehicle. Uh, as we march toward the GM vision of zero emissions, zero crashes, and zero congestion. So, Bill, how are these teams being judged for this competition? So, uh, we have a series of uh, competition events that the teams participate in. Uh, throughout the school year, they are uh, submitting reports and milestone-based deliverables along the way to ensure that they're continuing the development of their vehicle and moving along on the right track. Uh, we have a very exciting event uh, coming up this year uh, in the spring uh, where we'll get to go to the California Air Resources Board and test vehicles on, on the dynamometers there. So the dynamometer, think about it like a treadmill uh, for a, a vehicle. And we'll be able to measure energy efficiency and take a lot of data on those vehicles. So great learning for our students, uh, not only to get to see you know, how that dynamometer testing is done, but also to get some uh, very important data for their vehicle to continue their development. And in May, we'll have our final competition at the GM Desert Proving Grounds in Yuma, Arizona, where they'll do a series of competition events on the tracks um, at Yuma. And we'll finish that up then with some static presentations where they really get the opportunity to highlight the great work they've done uh, over the last year and, and really over the last three years of this competition. Fantastic. And Faith, what do students gain from being involved in the EcoCar EV Challenge? Uh, students gain a lot. So the biggest thing that we gain is just getting to know what it's like when we're going to work in industry. So all of us, you know, the main goal after college is, you know, to get a job and to get a good job. So with this, we get to take all what we learn in school and apply it to something, get some real hands-on experience that we otherwise wouldn't get. Absolutely. Um, and so where can people go to get more information and keep up with this competition? Uh, sure, you can follow us, uh, go online to avtcseries.org or on any social media at EcoCar Challenge. Great, thank you both for joining me. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.